Alright, so what we have demoed here is uh, a simulation of an active and passive suspension system in a car. So basically what this is here, the ground, the bottom plate represents the ground of a car, and this is the car and then you're sitting here on top. When you hit a speed bump, you know, the, the ground jerks and your whole car bounces and jerks. Um, it's actually demonstrated here on the, on the, on the graph, when it, it changes the position you can see it bouncing out and, and trying to level out, it takes a few seconds. That's what the passive system, all it is is just a spring on a car. With an active suspension system, it uses uh, the, um, the encoder inputs and the uh, uh, accelerometer underneath the car that will actually detect where it is and how fast it's moving and send those inputs to the FPGA for high speed processing and then to the real time module for the uh, control design and simulation module. It does all the control algorithms, the PID and, and, and everything needed for that background stuff, determines where the motor should be, and then this motor will then turn to position and slowly move and uh, move the top one so it smoothly goes out instead of bouncing around like you would. This kind of design is used in uh, you know, high-end cars. They're, they're looking into research for that in the more expensive Lexus and BMW models, but right now this is kind of just a test to show that it can be done and it can be done completely on a compact RIA system and uh, completely autonomous from, from a computer or any human input. Uh, if you want some more information on the control design and simulation module as well as the CRIO, uh, you can check out i.com and get some more information on that.